The following is a fan-based discussion. All properties discussed are property of Toei Inc., Bandai, Saban Entertainment, and Tsuburaya Productions. Hi everybody, and welcome to another Toku Talk. It's been a while. Yeah, and this time, you know, we don't normally talk about things that have just happened. We're currently airing. But I feel like in this case, it's for the Gata. We're specifically talking about Kamen Rider Build Episode 21. Yeah. Because we watched it over the weekend, and one sec. <laughs> <coughs> Dying. R.I.P. Anyway, um, and it kind of went over some very serious things that we kind of want to talk about. Yeah. So, I'm going to do this right now. Quick spoiler spoiler alert. If you're not watching Build or if you're behind on Build, if you don't want spoiled, go watch episode 21. It's come back. Okay. We'll wait. I love how on the Kamen Rider Wiki, this episode contains scenes of blood and murder. Viewer discretion is advised. Yep. So... This is his first use of the hazard form. Let's which, talk by about the way, looks that. Great. Yeah, I love the all black and just the red and blue on it. And uh, you know, with the YouTube specials as well, we're gonna talk about that. Uh, it's just as good because that's smartphone wolf and it looks really good on the helmet as well. Uh, but yeah, going off of this. Let's talk about that first fight scene first. You mean the fact where he really didn't try? And him he, and he did the stereotypical back punch thing with the guy running by. He hit Castle right into the wall and was just like, and that was it. <laughs> he dodged the punch and just, and then he had like that pose of like him looking back at the uh, the other one like a, just like an animal. It was like his you know crouch and everything, hands were extended. It was like that was just like animalistic right there. Yeah. And then we end up getting to the next scene where he fights Cross Z. Uh, yeah. Crossy charge. And, oh, it was beautiful uh, imagery at this one, too. Crossy shoots the bolts at him, and they bounce off of him and hit the lights. And, like, you had lights swinging back and forth above him. And then he's, like, synapses in his head, start firing really rapidly and everything. And then it goes into his brain because the hazard trigger has a draw, a drawback. And I like this one. Which is, you go batshit. Yeah, I like this one a lot, specifically because of this fact. Usually when we end up getting something like this, it's just like, you know, a lot of electricity and, like, sparking over the suit and everything, like, yelling and, and everything. And then a lot of destruction of property yeah. when the crazy happens. Like, there's nobody who actually gets hurt. Like, it happened uh, when Emma got level 5, uh, Dragonite Hunter in x mm -hmm. You know, that started going wild and everything, like, started blasting bolts everywhere. But no, this one was just like... It's kind of like a Criminal Minds episode where just, like, a tick went off in his head and he was like, alright, go. Yeah. No visual effects... No, just him going nuts. He looked at Cross's charge and just ran up to him and beat the shit out of him and caused him to untransform. And then he looked at the other two hard smash, kicks them out the wall, beats the hell out of them. And I love this scene because uh, Alba, who is, you know, the guy in this mm -hmm. one, it was, tries to attack and he looks at him, just punches him in the face real quick and just goes back to the other dude. And they end up untransforming and said, if we would have stayed in that form any longer, we would have died. <laughs> and then he... Then Alba kind of didn't untransform. Yeah, and he caught Alba and has her triggered off of it. And I love the... No, I love when he's doing that. You see Grease... In nobody, the background. Yeah, realizing this is happening. Trying to... And everything goes slow-mo and he's henching to stop him. And you're like... This is where he, you know, this is where he gets in just the last second, and then, pff, nope. He kicked him dead in his throat. Like the, like the thing came out of the hazard trigger, the smoke and everything started going over him, like just started breaking the suit and everything like that, and then, and, and right there. And I love this scene because this entire episode really, the music cuts out. Yep. And the music is gone for like most of the episode. There's no, there's really no music. He d dies right there in Grease's arms. Yeah, it's like uh, Bonjo comes over and like grabs him and then he like gets hit out of the way and then Grease comes in, chains him up real quick and then hits the trigger off of him. And that causes him to transform. And when he realizes what he's done, Sinto, yeah, he's fought a lot, but most of the he's time monsters. The only person he's ever quote unquote killed was, was Bonjo's girlfriend. With fiance. But that she wasn't. Was, it wasn't his fault. She was dead already. Yeah, she was already dead by that point. 
like not like a corp like Amazon, but no, like but like it the the process of turning her into a smash. She her body couldn't withstand it, unlike so, some of the other people who've done it. There was no purifying her. If we purify her, she dies. That's yeah, it's just like that's something that he knew that he couldn't stop. So that was much more of a Bonjo thing. Also, he was in his right mind. Yeah, this one though. He, it was just like it was just pure straight up murder. And they said before, it's like a writer in this show just basically a, you know, a weapon. A, a, yeah, a weapon of war. And that really ends up showing up in this episode. And after he ends up killing him, just props to his actor. Yeah. Super props to his actor. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> I believed him. He broke. And it's just like you understood exactly where his mind was at at that point it's just like he never has killed someone before and he doesn't really talk for the rest of the episode until he goes back to there and there are flowers no he puts the flowers down I, there were i thought i thought it was more than that happened right after it's like Reese shows up too no i thought it was, i thought there were other flowers there from other people mm-hmm. so he goes back to pay his respects and pray as he should and his hands are shaking and then Grease shows up no there's this one little flash of the scene where he looks up and Alba's oh, standing yeah. right there. Oh, yeah, and Alba's standing there. <laughs> Holy shit. He's like, yo. And then they just don't talk about it. But you can tell he's just so haunted. He has PTSD. He does. You, he's just so haunted by what he just did. And that's, like, that moment when he gets knocked out of the transformation, he's like, what did I just do? And he just looks so scared and so frightened. And then the other two hard smash try to go, like, up and hit him. And Grease is just like, no, don't do it. You all knew exactly what you were getting into. This is war. This is what you you especially when you volunteered to become hard smash. Yeah. You knew what the co- the possible consequences were. Yeah. Which is what kind of grease told him when he, he puts flowers down. He pays his respects. And Senzo just like hit me. I deserve something. something. And it's like no, we'll do it at the match next week. This is and what he's we're like, supposed this to. This is and also this is war. Did you expect to be a soldier and not kill anybody yeah and it's just it hit and then he you know there's a whole thing with uh you know uh blood Stark at the end of it and then there is a time skip there but that's on the youtube specials which i love how, how the whole thing is just like Sento's trying to get back into just like being like normal you know doing the no best matches back. and everything like that but no like, there's this moment where he tries to be really happy, and, you know, this is all his whole thing. The best matches were his whole thing. Like That's he what loves, he was going to be happy about. Like, he loves discovering best matches. But it only lasts for a little bit. He's just so haunted by the things that he did, and I love just that look on his face. It's like, this is a really good job of just showing, you know, we don't know exactly how, how it is, but made it seem just that much more believable and it's like if it happened this is how it would be this is a turning point for this show this show thus far has been a good balance of uh action comedy and mystery and now this has taken a dark as soon as this war started it took a dark turn and it has reached the point of no turning back yeah it's like and i I feel like the show knows this yeah and doesn't plan on turning back yeah just like we got a lot of scans over the weekend of you know all the new forms from Bloodstock and uh, all Night the Final Night. Forms. Which, yeah, um, and we like what we see so far. We're not gonna really talk about it here. But yeah, we, we like what we see. Uh, I really wish that the Final Form wasn't as much the Final Form. You don't. You wish it just wasn't a bunch of bottles sticking out in Frankenstein yeah. style, style. But uh, it could be. I worse. mean, it, it could be worse. It could be grateful. Or yeah. But yeah, episode 21 was a great, like, I did not want to do this, but I'm sitting here like, we have to talk about this episode and just how Yeah, we it, don't like, we like saving our thoughts on shit like this for the actual review, but when it comes to dealing with something this intense, and this real, that people still, that actually people suffer with, and especially in the West, in the West Coast, or, or in the West Hemisphere over here, but it's a thing, and it's hard. Yeah. It, it was. It I don't was, know if you ever had a common writer this traumatized. It's been a very long time since a main writer has killed someone. And like straight murder. Killed. Yeah, and I mean like you know you're dead, you're not coming back. It's. Yeah. What what can you say? And I really you know I believe that the show is smart enough to not try to bring Alba back. But please don't. 
<laughs> leave it as it is. Make this just a such a turning point for Sento, and like you had to accept that this is the consequences of being in war. War is hell, and this episode really encapsulates that. Yes. And I love. And it. I'm so also proud of the writing for Greece's character because it could have been so easily to make him pissed. Yeah. But he's a soldier. He knows what it's being. What he knows what this is. He. He's been expecting this. Yeah. The other two didn't for some reason. They're the young ones. Hell, even um, Banjo gets it to a degree. He's like, this is war. There's that one scene that's just like after uh, Sento asks him, what did I just do? Like, Sento like goes to wars and Banjo like backs up and flinches away. And I'm just like, oh, it's so good. <laughs> and this week's episode is going to be... Um, I have high hopes for their little match. Really do. Because it's fucking Dragon Ball Z style shit. I swear. I can't wait. I'm so excited for just this show overall. Unfortunately, the next uh, video of the seven best matches for the hazard level won't come out until March for some reason. Wait, what? The yeah. What? Hold on, the what won't come out? The YouTube specials. Oh, wow. Which is bad because there's a time skip between... His fight with Bloodstark and yeah. the fight with uh, Grease at the There's on the top of that tower. The training arc, yeah. And that training arc happens in the, the YouTube, specials. YouTube specials, which is just like, uh, why? But, but I'm looking forward to just see exactly what happened in between the next two. But we wanted to get these thoughts out there. If you've seen episode 21 of Kamen Rider Build, let us know what you thought of this. Let us know what you think of Build so far overall. This is building itself, no pun intended, to be one of my favorite Kamen Riders. This is getting up there. If it keeps on this, this level... Path, I'm going to have to redo my entire Toku list. Yeah, especially after coming off of X8 last year, just like, that was really good. Oh my god, yeah. And then this is like, if we keep on this, it's just like, making things, you know, still have a comedic edge to it, as you should, but it's just like, making things serious and making things have as actual consequences. Yeah. That's one thing I was kind of upset with, with Q-Ranger. With Draco Commander sacrificing himself. Oh, so but that's much more of a spoiler thing for Q-Ranger. Yeah, but um, I already gave a spoiler alert at the beginning. But anyway, and I already talked to somebody about Twitter on this. So we just want to get these thoughts out there. We want to hear your thoughts on this because, holy shit, this is probably one of the better episodes of Trump Rider ever. Yeah, that, that was great. It was It was up there with episode 37 of Google for me. It was up there. It was up there for a lot of the episodes of uh, x aid but let us know what you think. If you have any ideas for a Toku Talk that you want us to talk about, please put it in the comments below. As always, like, subscribe, Patreon, Facebook, Twitter, blah, blah, blah. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.